putting and putting together the group head. So this is a, a group head of the Pro. This is the Evo group head, the cover. So if you wear this, you put this in your hand. The Pro one has about 1.2 kilos more of mass than the Evo one. And the machine is in times of electronic 10 times faster than the evolution. And then, when this is uh, lined up and put together, you can see this is a group that okay? <coughs> so what they do is, this is how they put them or line them up and then put them together and see that everything is done and then it goes into the production. So you come. Hold this group head with this one. This is the evil group head and this is the pro group head. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so a group head and this is exactly where the beauty comes in. A group head of a normal espresso machine company is about a kilo. Here, seven and a half kilos of mass, of material. Mm -hmm. So the main difference is maybe you have heard in the past many times the word multi-boiler technology. Mm -hmm. What is a multi-boiler technology? Does that, somebody know that? Separated boiler system. Okay. Of what? Separation of what? Of water and steam, maybe? Of, of group, temperature, stability. What else? Group somebody has different temperatures. Yeah. Pre, pre heating, pre, pre infuse, pre chambers. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. You ask, you ask we answer. Super. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when we started, people said, you guys are crazy. This will never work. People will never understand what you're doing. And by the way, what are you doing there? What are you talking about? We had to give it a name. We had, um, we had to give it a name because we have a boiler like this. And in the past, because of the E61 system used by everybody. You had Faema, Rancelio, mm -hmm. Brasilia, Papa, yadi, yadi, yadi. Everybody is using the same system. Boiler, heat exchanger, group head, that's it. Finished. Finished. Everybody asked you, when they came to the booth, how big is your boiler? Because as bigger the boiler, as more stable is the extraction, right? That's what we learned. And that's somehow true. And then we said, but it would be great to have the steam separate. Yeah. Because if I have a very big boiler and I have a very big heat exchanger, then somehow with flow restriction, I can somehow stabilize it, right? You say no, but this is what everybody does. Okay. Right? Everybody does it. No. And yeah, then they yeah. put another boiler to steam. Yeah. And they say, that's it, done. Yeah. And Dalla Corte is, a, is a too much electronic. It's a laboratory machine. Ah, be careful, be careful. So here is a boiler and a group head at okay. the same time. Mm -hmm. We go in and now, very important, cold water. It's pure cold water cold inside? Water. Pure cold water. cold water. That's pure. But that's change. Yeah. That changed what? That changed the ph uh, philosophy and the boiler, the big boiler to that one. Because there, there you have your infusions, infusions where you have put cold water into, you don't have stability in, in your temperature anymore. In the big boiler system, eh? when yeah. we have a single boiler yeah. system, yeah, that's, that's why, why we have to separate it. We think that before. Mm -hmm. So now, if I have three groups, Plus a boiler for steam and tea water, we leave this alone now, okay? Because that's... So now you have to understand the difference is that I have one electronic board and I go and I have one temperature probe here 
and I go with my cold water in each and every of the group pads. Okay? And then I can set temperature on each and every group pad differently. Because each and every group pad is a different espresso machine. Because it's totally separate from each other. And this is why we said one day, people don't understand what we're talking about. So we have to give it a name. And then we said it's a multi-boiler machine. Because you have multiple boilers. And each and every boiler is independent from each other.